Hello, Anna. How are you? Hi, Tom. I'm doing well. I need advice about accents. Sure, Tom. What about accents? How can I improve my accent? Practice every day. That helps a lot. What should I practice exactly, Anna? Focus on sounds that confuse you. Which sounds are important to practice? Start with vowels and consonants, Tom. Should I listen to native speakers? Yes, listening helps with pronunciation. How often should I listen, Anna? Try listening for an hour daily. Should I copy what they say? Yes, imitate their speaking style. Will that improve my speaking skill? Yes, it makes a big difference. What else can help, Anna? Record yourself speaking. It's helpful. Should I compare it with natives? Yes, compare and notice the differences. How can I identify my mistakes? Listen carefully and repeat challenging parts. Should I focus on speaking slower? Yes, slow speech improves clarity. Is it better to speak naturally? Yes, but slowly at first, Tom. Will reading aloud help me too? Yes, reading improves your fluency. Should I read books or articles? Both are helpful. Use simple materials. What if I mispronounce words? Correct them by repeating the word. Should I use a mirror while speaking? Yes, it helps with mouth movement. What about watching videos, Anna? Yes, videos show correct pronunciation. Should I repeat after the video? Yes, that will improve your accent. Should I use subtitles when watching? Yes, subtitles help with difficult words. Will speaking with others help too? Absolutely. Practice with native speakers. How often should I speak with them? Try for a few minutes daily. Is it good to join language groups? Yes, groups help with regular practice. What should I focus on in groups? Focus on pronunciation and conversation. Should I ask for feedback, Anna? Yes, feedback helps you improve faster. Will online language apps help me? Yes, they offer good pronunciation tools. Which app do you recommend, Anna? Try apps with native speaker features. Is it important to learn intonation? Yes, intonation makes you sound natural. How can I improve my intonation? Listen and mimic native speaker's rhythm. Will tongue twisters help my accent? Yes, they improve sound articulation. Can I practice them every day? Yes, daily practice will help a lot. Should I focus on difficult ones? Start easy, then try harder ones. Should I change my voice tone? Yes, adjust tone for better clarity. Will practicing with songs help me? Yes, songs improve rhythm and flow. Should I sing along, Anna? Yes, sing and copy their accent. Will this make me sound better? Yes, it helps with fluency too. How long will improvement take? It depends, but be consistent, Tom. Should I practice every single day? Yes, daily practice is key, Tom. What should I avoid, Anna? Avoid rushing and unclear speech. Should I relax while practicing? Yes, staying relaxed helps pronunciation. Is it okay to make mistakes? Yes, mistakes are part of learning. How do I stay motivated, Anna? Track progress and celebrate small wins. Thanks, Anna. This advice is helpful. You're welcome, Tom. Keep practicing. I will, Anna. Thanks again. Anytime, Tom. Good luck with everything. What else can I do, Anna? You can try speaking with confidence. How can I build confidence, Anna? Start small, then gradually speak more. Should I focus on difficult topics? Begin with easy topics, Tom. Is it okay to make errors? 
Absolutely, errors are part of learning. How should I handle them? Correct them calmly and move on. Will my accent ever sound natural? With practice, it will improve greatly. Should I change my learning method? Try new methods if progress slows. What other methods should I try? Use interactive games to improve listening. Do games really help with accents? They improve your listening and response. Can I practice with language partners? Definitely, partners make learning fun. How do I find language partners? Try online communities or local groups. What should I talk about first? Start with simple, everyday conversations. Should I talk about my hobbies? That's a great way to begin. Will I sound more fluent then? Over time, fluency will increase naturally. How long does it usually take? It depends on how much practice. Should I practice in public too? Speaking in public builds great confidence. What if I feel nervous? Take deep breaths and speak slowly. Will people notice my accent immediately? Some might, but don't worry, Tom. Should I apologize for my accent? Never apologize. Be proud, not worried. Is it okay to ask for help? Of course, asking for help is wise. Should I join pronunciation classes, Anna? Classes help, but they're optional. How do I practice on my own? Try shadowing videos or podcasts, Tom. What exactly is shadowing, Anna? It's repeating exactly after a speaker. Will it really improve my accent? Absolutely, it strengthens your speech muscles. How long should I shadow daily? Try at least 15 minutes a day. Should I shadow different accents, Anna? Start with one, then try others. Which accent should I choose first? Choose the one you hear most. What if I mix accents accidentally? That's normal. It improves with time. Will watching interviews help my speech? Yes, interviews show natural conversation flow. Should I focus on casual speech? Focus on both casual and formal. Will reading news articles help me? Certainly. News improves vocabulary and clarity. Should I read them aloud daily? That's a great idea, Tom. Can I ask friends for feedback? Of course, honest feedback is valuable. What if I receive negative feedback? Stay calm, use it to improve. Should I ask for specific feedback? Yes, ask about pronunciation and tone. Can I use my phone to record? Definitely, recordings show real-time progress. Will I hear my mistakes clearly? Yes, it helps you self-correct quickly. Should I try to sound perfect? Perfection isn't needed, just improvement. What's the most important thing, Anna? Consistency is key. Never give up. Should I set a daily goal? Goals help track your steady progress. What's a reasonable goal for beginners? 15 minutes daily practice is reasonable. Will I notice changes quickly, Anna? Small changes appear within a month. How do I stay patient, Anna? Focus on progress, not perfection, Tom. Can I ask native speakers questions? Definitely, asking questions speeds up learning. What if they misunderstand my accent? Just repeat yourself slowly and clearly. Should I feel embarrassed if misunderstood? Never. Misunderstandings are part of learning. Will I ever sound completely fluent? Fluency grows with time and practice. Should I practice different sentence structures? Yes, variety builds your speaking skills. What about slang should I learn? Learning slang can improve casual conversation. Will using slang sound more natural? In informal settings, it's quite natural. Is slang important in professional settings? No, 
Keep speech formal in professional places. How do I balance both styles? Practice switching between formal and informal. Should I practice that with friends? Yes, friends can help you switch. Should I use gestures when speaking? Gestures can help emphasize your words. Will it make me look confident? Definitely, gestures show more confidence. Should I use them while practicing? Try adding them to your practice. What if I overuse gestures? Keep them natural, not too much. Will that make communication easier, Anna? It helps others understand your message. Is body language important too, Anna? Absolutely. It supports your spoken words. How do I improve body language? Watch speakers and mirror their actions. Should I watch TED Talks, for examples? Great idea. TED speakers use effective communication. Will I sound like them eventually? With practice, your style will develop. Should I copy their speaking pace? Start by matching their speed, Tom. What if they speak too fast? Slow them down using video settings. Should I practice with slow speed first? That's smart. Gradually increase the pace. Is practicing alone more effective, Anna? Both solo and group practice help. Will group practice challenge me more? Definitely, interacting with others is key. What about public speaking events, Anna? Those events boost confidence and fluency. Should I prepare a speech for practice? Preparing speeches improves your speaking skills. Will it help with difficult words? It forces you to learn pronunciation. How long should my speech be? Start with short speeches, maybe two minutes. What if I forget my words? Pause, breathe, and continue confidently, Tom. Should I practice in front of mirrors? Mirrors help you see your expressions. Will facial expressions affect my speech? They can make you more engaging. How do I practice facial expressions? Watch actors or speakers for inspiration. Can I practice with tongue twisters again? Absolutely, they sharpen your articulation, Tom. Should I focus on difficult ones now? Challenge yourself with tougher tongue twisters. Will my accent improve after that? Your clarity and flow will improve. What about reading poetry aloud, Anna? Poetry teaches rhythm and intonation. Should I practice different styles of poetry? Try various styles for better flexibility. Will that improve my speech rhythm? Yes, rhythm makes speech sound smoother. What if my rhythm sounds awkward? Keep practicing until it feels natural. Should I try voice acting for practice? That's creative. It builds vocal control. Will voice acting change my accent? It might, but it enhances pronunciation. How do I begin with voice acting? Start by mimicking characters' voices, Tom. Should I focus on different characters? Choose varied characters for more range. What if I struggle with certain voices? Practice each voice until you're comfortable. Will this help with confidence too? Absolutely, it strengthens vocal expression. Should I record my voice daily? Frequent recordings help track your progress. Can I improve while listening to audiobooks? Audiobooks are great for listening practice. Should I repeat the audiobook sentences? That's effective for improving sentence flow. Will this improve my vocabulary too? Yes, and you'll learn context usage. Can I learn accents from audiobooks? Audiobooks expose you to diverse accents. Should I stick to one accent style? Learn one first, then explore others. What if I mix accents accidentally? Don't worry, it's normal while learning. Should I practice storytelling as well? Storytelling improves fluency and expression. 
How should I start with storytelling? Start with short, simple stories first. Will this make me a better speaker? Over time, it will definitely help. Should I use visual aids while speaking? Visuals support and clarify your message. Will that distract from my accent practice? No, it will enhance your communication.